Okay, what we've got here is a street light circuit uh, using an LDR here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, an LDR is using your street light to switch on and off the lights when it gets dark. The street lights don't switch on and off according to time, they actually switch on and off according to how bright it is. Okay, so this is a street light circuit, tricky enough to make, but if you're, if you do it slowly, um, you can you can get it done as good fun because I'm just going to switch off the lights in the room now and you should see this light here switching on, okay? There he goes, okay? So when, when it became dark in the room, the street light here switched on. I'm going to switch on the lights again now and the room will become bright and he'll switch off again. There you go. So the lights go on in the room and the street light goes off, okay? Now if you do this in a class, if you get a few of these set up and put them in a dark corner of the room and switch off the lights, they all come on together and it's really, really good. Good fun. Okay, so here we go, making our street light circuit. Now I'm gonna do this slowly, okay? So I'm taking one short red wire I'm sticking one end of it into the 6 volt and my plus volt, 6 volt side of my battery. Okay, like that. The other side then is going to go into this hole here on this big 10 kilo ohm resistor. Okay, like so. Okay, that's my first connection, like that. Okay, so from the 6 to the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Okay. Uh, now my second wire is going to go from the other side of this 10 kilo ohm resistor like so And he's going to go do you see this guy here? He's called the transistor now there's three pins on the transistor. He's going to go to this middle Leg here like so, okay, so I'll do that again. He's going into the middle leg of this transistor like so Okay, so that's my second connection So we've got two connections made Okay now, uh, next connection, let's just think about this. I'm gonna go, I need to make another connection from the six volt side, okay? I'm gonna go in there. Now, to connect these fellas together, you simply just um, connect two wires together. You simply just push him into the hole like that, okay? Sorry, just push him into the hole like so, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna connect, stick this connection in right in there like so, okay? And the other end of this wire then, over here you have your light bulb, and this is going to be our street light bulb. So the other end of this wire goes into this connection here, like so. Okay, now you don't have to worry about how the circuit works, okay. Uh, it's a very clever circuit, but we're just going to set it up now, okay. So the other side then of this lamp, the bulb here, the other side, I'm going to use another short wire. One goes in like so, and the other end of that wire then is connected. And let me just get this right now. It's connected into this fella here, okay? So back to our transistor, the very top pin of our transistor, okay? So back to our transistor, so from the other side of the bulb into the top pin of the transistor, like. So, bit of a stretch, but it fits, okay. Now it's a bit tricky, but if you do it slowly, uh, you'll get it. And it's good fun when it works, okay. So there we are so far. Three wires left, only three wires to go, okay. Uh, so that's him in there, okay. So from, now I'm gonna go from the third connection on my transistor here, the one I haven't connected yet, okay. Now this is gonna be my long wire, okay, this is a long for that. So one end of the long wire goes into the third connection on my transistor and the other end of this wire goes right around to the zero on my battery. So it's a big long connection, that's why it's long. So loop him around the board and in there like so. Okay. Now you can see my lamp is after switching on at the moment. Okay. Um, okay, now two more connections to go. Now this is my light dependent resistor, my LDR. He's the fellow that's gonna get involved in actively switching on or off this uh, bulb. So, another short wire going from, now do you see the middle connection on our, back to our transistor? He's already got a red wire in him. 
So I'm going to stick one end of this wire in, I'm just going to piggyback on top here. So it goes into that hole like so. Okay, so he's into the middle connection on the transistor. And the other end of that wire goes to one side of our LDR, doesn't matter what side, put it there. Okay, and then last connection, the other side of the LDR using a short wire, put one wire into the other side, and the other side of that wire goes to this uh, bottom connection on the transistor. See where the black lead is? So he just goes into the back of the black lead. Okay, now you notice my light bulb over here is switched off now. Okay, so, so that's my street light circuit. At the moment, your LDR here, if you like, he's kind of, um, if you like, he's, there's light shining on him, he's nice and bright, so his resistance is kind of low, okay? So the electricity isn't gonna flow through this light bulb. It will only flow through that light bulb if, if his resistance come, becomes high, okay? So I'm gonna switch off the lights in the room, his resistance will come high, and what that does is, um, it forces this transistor to actually switch on this light bulb here, okay? So I'm gonna switch off the lights in the room. Hopefully it'll work. Fantastic, and on comes our street light, okay? Uh, switch on this on a room light again. And the street light goes off, fantastic. Okay, so that's your street light circuit. Tricky, but when you get it done, it's good fun.